And our next fight is in the middleweight division between Young, uh, Jun Young Park and John Phillips. Jace, who have you got for that one, mate? So on this one, I'm going to go with Park on this one, and only because I think the skill level on this one, I think I think he's just he's just going to outclass him. He's 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 the much better fighter. He's a much more all around fighter. With mm. that being said, Phillips does have some serious power. If you saw, I believe it was his last fight. He had that 14 second KO. Um, so he, he has the power, he has the pressure that he could end up knocking him out. But I think that that's the only way that he can win um, is by knockout. And with, with Park being a, he's, he's a counter puncher. So he, he likes to counter punch. He could end up getting into some trouble, but I just, I think he's going to be the better, more all around fighter. I think he just kind of picks him apart and, and I think he wins it via decision. So I'm going to go with uh, young Park on this one by decision. I completely agree. Park's just the way better fighter. Phillips came in as like the white Mike Tyson, and then he totally let the name down. Yeah. He went one <laughs> and four. He got he ended up hitting one one knockout. Uh, but yeah, went one and four in the UFC so far. He has no volume to his game. He lands. Uh, I don't have the exact number, but it's a very low amount of significant strikes. He's got eleven percent takedown defense. Uh, not a very good jujitsu game. And then you fight Park, who's just all volume. Like his, he lands six point four one significant strikes per minute. His last fight, he landed seventy seven significant strikes and five takedowns. Those takedowns are going to be huge against Phillips' five eleven percent takedown defense. And then even if he doesn't end up hitting takedowns, like he's just going to volume him, volume him. So should be an easy win for him, probably by submission. Yeah, no, I totally agree. And I think if you look at John Phillips' record, I think seven of his losses have come via submission. I think one of his last fights was against Chimaev, and obviously there's no shame in losing to that bloke right now. I mean, he's on another, he's on another planet right now. But if I was Park going into this one, technically wherever this fight goes, I think Park definitely has Phillips's number. But if you're a man like Junyan Park in this one, I think you're definitely going to want to take the fight to the floor and potentially get the submission because, like I said, he's very capable wherever the fight goes. He's a very great technical boxer. But does he want to be trading with Phillips, who does have that uh, knockout power like you alluded to earlier, Jason? I don't know. So I think if you look at Phillips's record and his ability on the mat, if I was Park, I'd be licking, at, uh, licking my lips right now. And that's certainly going to be the game plan going into this fight. If you get the fight so far early on and drag him to the uh, the mat, then maybe, you know, Park hands him an early submission loss. So I'm probably going to go, this is probably a very optimistic pick, but I'm going to go for a Park by a first round submission. There you go. Why right. not? What, you know, why not? I mean, Phillips is just so susceptible for that takedown. And for as sure. soon as he got his back, you know, it's good night for Phillips, unfortunately. Yeah.